Hello, my lovely people. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing beautiful well from wherever you're watching me from. Welcome back to my channel. If you'll see my face for the first time, my name is Shana and on this channel I discuss mainly on Germany residency information and wellness tips. If you're not part of the family, you're highly welcome yet. I want to say a very big thank you to all my loyal subscribers. Thank you for always making our time to watch my videos. I want to also appreciate my new subscribers thank you for joining the family and if you've not subscribed please do well to touch the subscribe button down there and touch the bell there turn it on so you'll be aware when i post videos like this today i'll be discussing with you on things you need to do before your lawyer comes to verify you for family reunion visa if you're in my country nigeria or any part of country where you are you have applied for, for family reunion visa you have got to the point where you are coming to be verified by a lawyer these are the things you need to know before the lawyer comes to verify you. I've gotten several questions concerning this, so I need to make a video to clarify this. I've made videos on mistakes that you need to avoid. I will leave the link to that video in the description box below. I'm telling you these things from my experience. These are the things that I went through. Now, before your lawyer comes to verify you, you must have noticed that when you were filling the forms to submit, you fill the form called questionnaire, then you fill that out for yourself, your siblings, your education, everything concerning you, where you are giving birth to your place of worship, your parents, witnesses, neighbors, friends, you know, you feed a lot of data. But I want you to know that you should write down data like date of birth. For instance, you feel data concerning your parents' date of birth, your siblings' date of birth. It is best for you to write those data down because when the lawyer comes, you'll be given a document to fill, which we also call for those data that you filled in your questionnaire to avoid misinformation and to ensure accuracy write those things down before submitting those documents so that when the lawyer comes to verify you you also give the same data to avoid misinformation and ensure accuracy this is one thing you need to know now the second thing you need to know is that you must inform your witnesses those people that signed your documents for you during your court wedding you have two witnesses signing for you okay whether they are male whether they are female let them know that the lawyer will be coming to verify you also so they let them know that they, they will be visited of course they will be visited do not allow them to be taken on a voice and the, the lawyer is around they are not around the lawyer goes without interviewing them is an issue for you they should be aware that they will interview them so they and they should be around you should also keep their data and ensure that they fill the same data that you have filled for them and submitted. Let them know what you filled so that they give accurate information the same way you've written them to avoid misinformation and ensure accuracy, I've said earlier on. After you've told your witnesses and they're around, now the person that will be interviewed in your environment is your neighbor, the person who will be a witness that you had wedding, whether traditional, whether court. Someone has made a great mistake by not informing the neighbor that he or she will be interviewed, the neighbor was taken on a ways. the neighbor comes, the lawyer comes, sorry, to interview this neighbor, and the neighbor is not aware, the neighbor is, you know, the information that is given is not accurate, it's not in line with what the person has written. There are some things I'll be letting you know that you should brief this your neighbor, let this neighbor know, because when the lawyer comes, these are the questions that will be coming to your neighbor. Now, the first is your name. Before you got married, you had a million name. Your, your father's name. Let the neighbor know your father's name, your middle name. Let the neighbor know where you went for primary education. Let the neighbor know where you went for secondary education, your university. Let the neighbor know that you are married. How many siblings do you have? What is your formal address? Where you lived before living with this neighbor? Let them know where it is. The, the, you know, the address that you lived, the, where you lived formerly before packing in and having him or her as a neighbor. What is the address? Let the person know. Do you have any pet name? I'm telling you things that I went through. This is my experience I'm giving you. And if your neighbor is aware of all those things, you are sure to beat, you know, the state where there's confusion. The lawyer is suspecting that something is going on, that you didn't have your wedding. Let the neighbor know how the wedding went. If he or she did not attend the wedding, let the neighbor know how it went. Was the day sunny or rainy? People were in attendance. How was it? Was there issue? Who, uh, who was present there? let the neighbor know all of these things so that when the lawyer comes to interview him or her the neighbor will not be beaten about the bush and sounding confused okay when you have done all of these things everything will put in place and then there's another thing you need to know using your own intelligence 
for instance your, the lawyer is going to go to your place of birth your hospital you are giving birth to it's also going to go to your place of worship it's also going to go to your school where you attended it will be wise that you support him financially by paying for transportation fees when you're going to all of these places. If he, if he pays for when you're going for your your place of worship uh, verification, why not pay for when you're going to your school? If he pays for when you're going to your, your place of birth, why not pay for when you're going to your, your, your court uh, wedding premises? Let this support come from you. This will encourage the lawyer, make him more happy. See that you're not being selfish. You're supporting his or her work to make your verification process easy and he or she will not be so hard to withhold or hold anything against you support him and her in whatever way you can or you can also give when he comes to interview you because this is stressful you're going to be you know going all around the whole day you can offer a refreshing drink you know get something for him or her to eat if you can these are ways to make things easy for yourself do not sound strict and you must be it's very careful not to sound angry, irritated, or nervous of any kind. Let him or her know what is happening, what has happened. Okay? When you go to the, to the court premises, let him or her, because you're going to come with the photos you submitted to them at the embassy to ensure that the same place you said you had your court on is the place that you are going to verify. Let the people around there who were present meet with him, speak with him, let them meet team and know that things were really done here there's nothing being cooked up that things i have to let you know prepare yourself accurately before the lawyer comes to verify you you'll be getting a call from the lawyer letting him or letting you know that's going to come on so, so day to verify you put things in place you know let things or maybe the lawyer is coming today and you're still somewhere else the lawyer is waiting for you you're not yet arrived this is going to sound as a kind of your seriousness is at the height is at the height of it. You can you're not ready for, to be interviewed. The lawyer will grant this against you. Be present. Don't give a, a, a particular a residence address, and you're in another residence. The lawyer is calling you. The lawyer says you, you need to go to a place of uh, uh, bed to verify. You say you're not going with the lawyer. You should, you should go. It's not his job. You're making things difficult for yourself. At every point, whatever you can do to make this easy for yourself, go about this and have things done the right way for yourself. If at any point there's issue, this reflection does not end in a day, it takes about two to three days. You can call the lawyer on phone while he's still on your case to make corrections about anything that you need to correct. Because once he's through with your case, getting him through calls is no longer possible. I hope this is beneficial to you. If you have more questions concerning this, want to be clarified more, leave me a comment in the comment section. I will come back to you. If you have topics you want me to clarify concerning this same topic or other topics, leave it in the comment section. I'll make a video concerning it. To my next video, I will see you then. Bye.